Kenneth Copeland, a.k.a. Lil Woody, just confessed that the transcript was redacted. Can you believe this, guys? The transcript was redacted? Now, this, of course, is in connection to the YSL RICO trial in Fulton County, Georgia, one that actually seems to have the fingerprints of District Attorney Fannie Willis. The judge in this case, Ural Glanville, courageously stated that he would reveal this full transcript of their secret meeting. He argued that there was nothing wrong with this meeting and that they weren't trying to do something illegal. But then why would Lil Woody say that the transcript was incomplete? Well, in a live stream, his former attorney, Caleb Bumpus, asked him, if the transcript was complete, to which Copeland shook his head and told Bumpus that she knew the same thing. So Bumpus was the attorney that accompanied Copeland in this ex parte meeting, an attorney that he fired, by the way, but we'll get to that later. But what's really shocking is that both Bumpus and Copeland, they're going on live streams to talk about this case to talk about what's happening in and around it. So things that should probably be opened up in court, not on social media. And it looks like the attorney is using the fame of Lil Woody through this case to become sort of a social media influencer. Now, both of them, they don't have gag orders from the court, but many question if these actions are actually ethical. Take a look at this. Oh, and by the way, before I share this video with you guys, I'll ask that you take one second, hit the like button for the video. Really appreciate your support. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and take a listen. Is it your desire to release your counsel at this point in time? She fired. She's fired? Okay. So do you wish to represent yourself in, in, in these particular, in terms of any issues you may have in this particular? Do I got a choice? I'm sorry? Do I got a choice? Yes, you do. And what are those? Well, you can keep your lawyer that you have right I now. I don't want her. All right. You could, um, you could certainly hire hire another lawyer, or the court could appoint you a lawyer. Do what I need a lawyer for? Hmm? Right. What, what, what no, it's just it's just the court is just asking you whether it's your it's your it's your choice, sir. I'm, I'm good. You're good. Yeah, Miss Bumpus, did you file an entry of appearance? All right. Did you, under the Uniform Superior Court rules, file a, um, a motion to withdraw pursuant to the Uniform Superior Court rules? I mean, I, I know you give an oral notice, but usually that's to be in writing, and he has 10 days to object. Say again. Well, given the fact that uh, you have represented uh, Mr. Copeland at this point in time, uh, it would seem appropriate that you do need to, in fact, file a formal withdrawal. Um, even though you didn't enter one, you de facto entered this case by, by, by your representation of him, or you telling the court that you did, in fact, represent him. So... Uh, at this point, I'm not inclined to release you until that's done. So I'll get that done now, Judge. Okay. All right. Um, and he's got 10 days to, uh, to, to go ahead and do that. So you're still going to have to be here until I have a, till I have, um, cause he gets that particular period of time to go ahead and decide whether or not he'd like to hire a lawyer. That's the whole reason for the 10 days. Well, I don't want to hire no. Uh, oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Not yet. That, you get that right as a as a party. Okay. I do get right. You do. Yes. You get that right to hire a new lawyer. You also you get the right to do a couple things. One, to decide whether or not you will release her. Okay. Okay. Two, you get to decide whether or not you want to get a, a, another lawyer to be with you. Okay. Okay. Those are the two big things you get a chance to to kind of decide. But what I'm going to do at this point in time is since she's representing you. I'm going to make her form, file a formal notice to withdraw. She's orally told you at this point in time she wants to withdraw. But you're on the stand. You're testifying at this point in time. So I'm not going to let her withdraw at this point. Well, Your Honor, I'd just like to say... Uh... So you saw Bumpus get fired by Copeland in the court, right? 
although she admits that she was fired before Copeland even went up to the stand. Now, this was something that Judge Glanville was not informed about. This happened a few weeks ago, so it's kind of weird as to why this attorney is doing live streams with Lil Woody. And just to clear the air here with everybody who might not be updated with the case, Kenneth Copeland is the key witness that the prosecution, along with the judge, Judge Ural Glanville, had an ex parte meeting with, a secret meeting that they tried to keep from the defense team in this trial. So Caleb Bumpus is the attorney who represented Copeland, Kenneth Copeland, in this meeting. And so now the meeting wasn't supposed to be known to the defense team, much less to the public. But defense attorney Brian Steele, he caught wind of it and confronted the judge regarding Garden his conflict. So this pissed off Judge Glanville to no end, but it left him with no choice but to reveal the entire transcript of the secret meeting. However, like I said a second ago, Kenneth Copeland, he went on a live stream with Bumpus to confirm that this transcript was not complete. And it was a pretty tough scenario, but it's not going to help Copeland to lie about this now. So what this means is that the judge said that he would reveal the full transcript, but decided to kind of hide some of the parts of the conversation. Yeah, I know. I, you can't make this stuff up. And if it wasn't for Bumpus's act to put this all out all over social media, none of us would even know about it. Which again puts in the question, what in the actual heck is happening over in Fannie Willis's Fulton County? Now you can say that attorney Bumpus is trying to milk this trial for what she can. But at the same time, she's revealing a lot of things that news outlets are not informed of yet. Either that or they're not going to cover it because this is an extremely bad look for Judge Glanville because he said that he would give us all the benefit of reading this entire transcript but then go ahead and remove certain parts. So the argument here is that he or the prosecution said something that could get them in trouble. Besides the, the clear intimidation that they used on Copeland, this in and of itself was already bad enough. Now, if you guys haven't read it, there are parts of this conversation where both the judge and the prosecution are telling Copeland that he will be put in jail indefinitely if he refuses to testify. And if he chooses to plead the Fifth Amendment, well, these actions have now led to the possible removal of Judge Glanville. So I think it could only be a matter of days before Judge Glanville is ultimately disbarred or at least uh, disqualified from this case. Back on the, record the big question in the historically long YSL trial, what happens if Judge Ural Glanville is removed? And what happens to the entirety of the case and since he didn't recuse before. The case can move in many directions since it's currently on hold until a judge rules on whether to recuse Judge Glanville. We've gamed everything out. We know what we're going to do based on all the options that could happen. Defense attorney Doug Weinstein, who represents co-defendant Diamante Kendrick, says there's no telling when a jury could be back in the courtroom. Right now, the case could be the hands of several judges. You've got the initial judge who's going to decide whether Chief Judge Glanville should be recused. And then you've got the judge that comes in to replace Chief, Ju Chief Judge Glanville. And then that judge will decide, what do I do now? Do I just sub in and continue? Is there a mistrial? What do we do? And we're now being informed that Fulton County Superior Court Judge Rachel Cruz will decide on his fate. So Rachel Cruz has been on the court since 2018, and it's up to her to decide if Judge Glanville should be removed from the trial. Right now, the trial is still on pause, but many legal analysts expect Judge Glanville to be removed as his actions are inexcusable. Here's a question for you guys. What do you think was hidden from this transcript? It could be something illegal, which reminds me of a previous video I did where I cover the possibility of special counsel Jack Smith getting removed from Donald Trump's J6 case. Donald Trump's defense has the backing of the Supreme Court when it comes to immunity, which further puts Smith in trouble. So make sure you guys check that one out because some say that it is possible that Smith is sent all the way to jail for what he's done. Now, as always, guys, I just want to kind of thank you guys so much for being here and I'll catch up with you guys on the next one. Be safe.